Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll learn how to rename pictures using attribute fields inside of TerraSync. The ability to rename a picture based on an attribute field inside of TerraSync is a new feature inside of Pathfinder Office version 5.60, and actually, this isn't even shown in the release notes. A friend of mine and fellow CT, Jeremy Somerville, with PLI, pointed this out to us last week, and it's such an interesting topic that I feel it should be released to you guys as well. So we're going to go through and show you how to set up this new feature. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Utilities, and we're going to choose Data Dictionary Editor. Inside of the Data Dictionary Editor, I always like to change the version first from this 4.1x to version 5. If you don't do this and you actually click on New Feature, it'll lock it in to the old version. So I like to change it first thing. I'm going to name this Photo Test. And we're going to start off by clicking on New Feature. And I'll call this Meter. And we'll go to the default settings. At the bottom, here's where this new feature is. It's called Image Name Basis. And right now it's off and there's nothing in here to choose. And that is because we don't have any attributes for this feature yet. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change my symbol, change my color, and click OK. So we've now created a meter feature. I'm going to click on New Attribute. I'm going to call this the text field, and it'll be serial number. Click on OK. I'm going to create a file name attribute for my photo, so I can store the link to the photo. I'm going to click on OK. We're going to close this out. So now my water meter has two attributes, serial number and photo. And since this is just a demo, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Now we can edit the water meter. You can either double click on it or highlight it and click on edit feature. We're going to go back into default settings. And now under image name basis, I'm going to change this to serial number. So whenever we shoot a photo now, it's going to choose the name of the serial number that we type in. We're going to click on OK. We're going to add another feature. We'll call this one Light Pole. I'll change the symbol. Click on OK. Click on OK. We'll add an attribute. This time I'm going to choose a text field. I'll call it ID. I'm going to click on OK there. I'll do another file name picture. I'll call it Photo. I'll add in another one here. We'll just comment field. Click on close. And now when I go back in the light pole, you'll see I should have two options here. I can either choose the image name to be the ID or the comment. I'll stick with ID. We'll click on OK. And I'll do one more here. We'll just call this one point. Click on OK. This one, let's just do a menu type. We'll just add a couple of attributes in here. So I just added a drop-down list so you can see how that works. We'll click on OK. Add a comment field. We'll add another picture field. And we'll close this out. We'll go back into point. Coming back in here to image name basis and see that I can choose the type field. We'll click on OK. Now I'm going to save this data dictionary. I'll put it in my project that I'm working on right now, picture test, and we'll save this out. Okay, now that we've finished editing a data dictionary, we're going to go to utilities. We're going to select data transfer. And we're going to send this over to my geo. So I'm going to click on the send tab. We're going to click on add. And we're going to choose data dictionary. And my photo test.ddf appears in the list. I'll select it, click on open, and then finally transfer all. It says it already exists. Okay, well, we're just going to overwrite it. And we'll click on close. I always like to choose this disconnect cable button at the top. If you don't and you just hit close, sometimes you may receive an error that says TerraSync is not on your machine. Basically, you just need to restart your computer. It still thinks that it has the connection. 
So I like to hit disconnect and then finally close. Now that we've created this data dictionary for the picture attributes, we're going to go and open up a project in TerraSync. So I've got TerraSync running. I've got seven satellites. I'm going to click on status, go down to data. Under data, I'm going to leave everything default. It has my data dictionary in here as photo test. I'm going to click on create, accept the antenna height. I'm going to hit OK. And then my features that we created in the data dictionary are showing up. So we'll start off with water meter. And I'm going to tell it to log. While it's logging, I can enter in my serial number. I'll go with 867-5309. We'll let it go about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to click on the camera icon. That's actually going to pause the GPS. It's going to fire up the camera. Let's see, we'll snap a picture here. Click on OK to store the picture. You'll notice that the picture didn't change. It's IMG underscore 002 with the time behind it as well. The picture will not change to the serial number until we use the data transfer utility. I'm going to click on Done. I'll log a light pole so we can see that one works. So for this, we'll give it an ID, LMAO 10. And I'll click on the camera icon. We'll click on OK to store the photo. And then I'll log some position. Click on Done when I'm finished with the light pole. And then finally, we're going to try this point feature. Since I had this menu attribute, let's see how that works. So we'll click on tree here. We'll get a picture. Click on OK to store the picture. When it pops in here, I will click on Done to store the feature. OK, so that's our little field session. We're going to see how it works when we transfer back into Pathfinder Office. So I'm going to click on Data. And I will exit out of TerraSync. It's asking me, do you want to shut down? I'll tell it yes. And we'll finish up. Our final step is to open Pathfinder Office and transfer the data file back across so we can look at these new picture names. So we're going to go to Utilities. We're going to select Data Transfer. I have it plugged into my PC. It's connected to Windows Mobile Device Center. And you'll notice when data transfer comes in, it says the device is GIS data logger on Windows Mobile. It's connected. We're going to make sure to click on the Receive tab. And then we're going to click on Add Data File. Now, anything that shows up highlighted in blue means it has not been transferred yet. In this case, I only have the one file we worked on. So I'm going to click on Open, Transfer All. It's going to transfer the SSF file. And then it's going to transfer the pictures over. And when it's done, We'll click on Close. Again, I like to click Disconnect before I close out of Data Transfer. And finally, we're going to go to File and Open. We're going to grab this EB012108A SSF. We're going to click on Open. And you'll see a few of my points have popped in here. So on the timeline, I'm going to click on our first water meter. And I'm going to go over to the Feature Properties tab. I'm going to highlight Photo. I'm going to go down to the Attributes tab under Feature Properties, and you can see here the photo 8675309 underscore A. If we click on Open, it'll bring up my picture. The light pole, same thing. I'll click on Photo, Attributes. There's my photo name is the same as my ID name. The only difference is it puts an underscore A there. So for the tree, it put our attribute as tree. That's the picture. It calls the attribute tree. So all those work. Menus, text, numbers. I didn't try a date field, uh, but it probably would work as well. And then finally over here in your project folder next to the word picture test, if you open that up, you'll notice when we did data transfer, we have a new file in here. It's the same as my SSF file name with the squiggly line in files. If I open that up, that's where the pictures are stored. All right. That'll conclude our picture test inside of Pathfinder Office in TerraSync. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.